Hey everybody, it's Brooks here, Senior Pastor of First Baptist Church of the Islands. Thank you for joining me for today's Five for Five. So I hope you're having a great day so far. So um, a few years ago at our church, we had a staff member uh, at the time, this is probably over a dozen years ago, a staff member at the time, who uh, he came into my office <laughs> and he said, hey, you wanna help me write a song? And uh, now I'm not a songwriter, I've never written a song, but he was writing a song and uh, he was kind of hung up on a lyric. He, he didn't have the right word. Honestly, I don't remember if I helped him or not. I don't, I don't know if I did, but if I did, the cool thing would have been that, you know, I could say I'm a songwriter, which is kind of cool, which uh, is scary, but at the same time would have been kind of neat. Well, here's the thing for every one of us in a way, your life is not necessarily a song, but it is a story. And uh, in, in scripture, Paul is writing a letter to the Corinthian church in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, um, verse 2. And he says to them, You are our letter written in our hearts, known and read by all men. What an interesting statement. You are our letter, Paul says to those Corinthian <laughs> believers. In other words, he says, you know, your life is part of our story. So that leads me to my question for today's 5 for 5. Uh, if your life tells a story about God, which it does, what kind of a story does it tell? Uh, is it somewhat of a mystery because people don't really know what your story says about the Lord? Maybe it's a little bit hazy, a little fuzzy. Is your life, uh, is it more of a tragedy or a comedy or a suspense or is it kind of a documentary? I mean, I think for most of us, God's desire would be that our life be somewhat of a documentary. It's like a living story about who he is. It's a story of trust, that our lives are a story of faith. Our life is a story of, um, uh, of adventure in a lot of ways, where we can, can just demonstrate God's grace and his love and his power and his strength and his work all throughout our lives. So your, your life really does tell a story about God. And in a lot of ways, it's up to you to determine what kind of a story is that going to be. As you trust him and as you follow him, man, your life is going to tell an amazing story of God. It's not a story of perfection, right? All of us have bumps and bruises along the way, and we're going to. But our life can still tell, us, still, still tell a compelling story of who God is in such a way, right, that if we live life with reckless abandon to him and to his way in obedience to his word, then our life can tell a compelling story that attracts other people to be a part of his story in their own lives. So your life tells a story. What kind of a story does it tell? And, and sometimes those chapters may not always be the best, but overall the story can be a really good one. Hey, write that chapter today. Write another chapter tomorrow and let your life reflect God for who he is. Have a great day.